Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Devina Krishna and I teach linguistics in Patna Women's College in India. And uh, I teach linguistics to students of undergraduation and post-graduation. And my areas of interest are phonetics, phonology and language documentation. Uh, I'm also a regular uh, guest speaker in international language symposiums and language festivals. And today I'm really privileged to be a part of this program and looking all forward to learn a lot from this program. Yeah, I'm Sandala Utkidabitya. So I'm from Sri Lanka and I am native Sinhalese speaker. Uh, I'm learning in uh, KIU University in Department of Psychology. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Like um, I'm, I'm Yanish from the Maldives yeah? and I'm a language teacher. So I'm going to be talk talking to you about Divehi. So as most of you wouldn't know, which I'm assuming, Divehi is the language of the Maldives and all of us, we speak Divehi here. Divehi has had some like, interesting exchanges with other cultures. So you would see like it, it, it is an Indo-European language. And though it is, we also have a lot of words which we have loaned from Arabic, just like Turkish or Persian or like Uyghur. We have words like insan or insaf, more, more legal and technical terms of like the, the past because of Islam. And then we also have borrowed we have a lot of cognates with Sinhalese. Sinhalese as a language is like our, our cousins, you know? So it's very easy for us to, for us small deviants to go to Sri Lanka and speak Sinhalese. It's, for us, it seems somewhat like a dialect of Tivahi. And for Sri Lankans as well, when they come to the Maldives, it's very easy to understand our language. And also we have, but mainly our words, we could, you could find the, the roots in the, the Indian languages. But though it's close to the Southern India, we, we, we're not like a, a Dravidian language. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. And I also do want to mention for a lot of people out there, uh, there's an Instagram page about the people of the Maldives. Like a lot of people think of the Maldives as just this tourist destination and they don't realize that there are actual people who live there and are native citizens of the island so uh, definitely go and check it out uh, and learn more about the people of the Maldives. So uh, now we're going to get started and we have this divided uh, into three parts. So what we're going to do is uh, everybody is going to read a sentence and then the other two participants will try to see how much of it they can understand. And all of these sentences, uh, the way that uh, I, I've structured it is there is a word in all of them, sometimes more than one, that uh, is common between the three languages and shares the same root. So uh, you might be able to pick up a word right away. Uh, you might be able to pick up a lot more, but we'll see how it goes. So. Uh, we'll get to all of that and you'll kind of get a sense for it. So now we're going to start off. We'll do the first Hindi sentence. Okay. Uh, my sentence is Raja yadi bhala kaam kare to narak nahi jayega. Can you say it again? Slowly. Yes. Yes. Raja yadi bhala kaam kare to narak nahi jayega. If that word Raja, is Raja is king. Yes. Raja. Then what? Yadi. Raja. Yadi. 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 If ne. If something like if. Yeah. And yadi bhala kam bhala kam kare to narak nahi jayega. Kare kare bhala definitely. Means, yeah. Kare means, means like to to. to Kare means to do, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yes, 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 you're yeah. close. Bala Raja. means power, right? Yes. Bala. Uh, so, calm, uh, we, we, uh, we use that term, calm uh, is for something, uh, something like love. Bala, calm, kare. Calm, yes, kare. So, narak kare. nahi jayega. Narak means uh, hell, right? Yeah, right, right. I also think yes. so. Naraka. Yes. yes. You what don't is go nahi? to hell. 
नहीं ये नहीं नहीं जाए नहीं जाए नारक नहीं जाए यस 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 राइट राइट या नारक यंदे बे यू Oh king if you love power if you uh is that work calm yeah, yeah, work right yeah yeah work right oh, okay because that is bhala definitely something good because you don't go to hell if yes, you do something yes, good right yes yes some good deed right yeah you guys yeah. You, you basically have it now just like piece it together no, you now you understood yeah yeah, yeah. Hey king if you do something good you're not going to go to hell. Yeah. Right. You yes. guessed it. Right. Unusum vayudara hamai. Okay, can you repeat? Yeah. Unusum vayudara hamai. Vayu is air na. Vayudara. Vayudara. Hamai. Vayudara. Yeah, is the word. That's a word. Deal. Is it to do with yeah, air? Why you used to do with air? Yeah. Why means air? Yeah. Why means air? Okay. Can you repeat the sentence once more? Unusum vayu dara hamai. Telling us the state of the air or something like that. Yeah. Something related. Yeah. Okay. The onusum is like is it like um, the cold air? But I think it's sitala, right? The word for cold. It's an adjective, you say, yeah. Some. This is something. <laughs> Garam. It's like hot air blowing. Something like. Yeah. 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 Hot air currents blow. Okay. Okay. Hot. Ah. Hot. Okay. <laughs> As so you Dara said, means adjective. Dara means current, and yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Air na kalu mahing hi fagging he badeye. You definitely gonna find. You gonna definitely gonna find like similar stuff there. Air na air na kalu mahing hi fagging he badeye. There's six words here. Air na kalu mahe hi fagging. ebadeye ena means that yeah. close close he yeah uh and then kalu means black yeah. okay kalu is black yeah Injective. yeah then yeah. what the next word please kalu mahe 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 is it some Kalu. noun Mahe. it's a noun it's some, a, it's, a noun. it's a noun it's a noun yeah uh mahe is that fish yeah mas uh. is fish mahe is a uh, a fish yeah oh. okay it's good Singular. so we figured out that ena kalu mahe is he black fish Fish. If if I again, uh, carry. carry. Yeah, he's carry. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Carrying, carrying. Uh, All right. All right. Eba de. Eba. Go. Something like go. Yeah, yeah. At the end, at the end. Going, going. Yeah. Yeah. So, is it together? He carried a black fish and go. He he yeah. is. He is going there with the black fish. Oh, okay. I'm imagining like in an island, you know, like this guy is yeah. got some fishes. Yeah. All right. Thank you. That's my one. Okay. The second sentence is, "Nachna or gana uske shock hai." I'll repeat again. "Nachna or gana uske shock hai." Nachna means. This is with the. I think, with the I think I know Nachna yeah. word. Nachna, yeah. Nachna the root word. Nachna, yeah. The root word is Nach, yeah. Nach, and then you add a Na, which is the infinitive marker in Hindi. It becomes Nachna. 
So Nachna means then uh, dancing, right? Yeah. So, and Gana should be then uh, <laughs> singing. <laughs> singing? Singing, right, right. And dancing Ustin and singing. Hai. Nachna or Gana, uske shock hai. Uske shock hai. Is that something like he or his? Uske? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You are close. He Shock. is a very talented uh, dancer and a singer. No, it's in infinitive, right? So he is. Shok. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I shok. Okay, so yeah. we say in Shok. 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 Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, okay. It should be something related to Arabic or something like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because Singhali is not influenced from the Arabic or other. Most of the time it's uh, influenced by Southern Indian or uh, yeah. basic Pali and Sanskrit. Yeah. 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 I, I, think, I think it's coming from, uh, it has a Persian root, Bador. Perfect. Perhaps you, you would know. So that's yeah. what I was going to say, because so uh, Hindi has had some Persian influence. And as a result, like exactly. a lot of yeah. some Arabic lot words of that influence. went right. to Persian and then passed yeah. on to. Yes. Uh, some words, as you know, yeah. like, when, exactly, exactly. As you, you obviously, you know that. Right? But, but when you go like further south in India, uh, you don't see that as much. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, like you don't see that in Sri Lanka. But uh, Yanish, as you know, like the Maldives has had the influence from the Middle East as well. So that's kind of like a, a, a different route. Like where, where... Them borrowings, yes. Words borrowed from the other source. Exactly. In the form exactly. of known words. Yeah. Yeah. So sentence is Kanna Monava Hari Tianavad. Kanna Monava Hari Tianavad. I think I understand this sentence. Uh, can you tell the last word again? The last word? Last word. Tiana yeah. Is it thank you? No, no, it's not thank you. No. Oh. I can give you a hint. Uh, if, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I add something? Because I think I understand the sentence. So I, I, I think it will be more interesting if uh, Devina is going to be like uh, trying to figure it out. So can I repeat again? Uh, yeah, yeah, please can... repeat. Please yeah. repeat. Khanna monavahari tiyanavad. Oh, is it to do with eat? Yeah, yeah. Kha, eat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you repeat the sentence? Khanda? Khanna monavahari tiyanavad. Okay. Some WH question? Yeah. Is it some what? WH question? What? What are you eating? Is it something no. like? No. Like, <laughs> let me guess this. Uh, let me guess the tense. Um, is it is it present or is it in the context present. of past? Present tense. Present, present tense. I understood it as like Khanna um, Monahari Tienavada. It's like, um, do you have do you have something good to eat? Yeah, that, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, like Mona, Mona, Mona is like, um, like Mona, the right, bro. Mona Bahari. Like, Mona Bahari. Yeah, Mona is Bahari like, is anything, something. Yeah. Mona okay. Bahari. Do you have something to eat or? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Tiena is to have. Yeah, Tiena is have. So this is. Mi faruge uturuga onnani kande. Mi faruge uturuga onnani kande. Onnani kande. Yeah. Yeah. Mi but, 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 faruge is. Sanuga. Uh, I, 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 uh, my Hindi is quite like, you know, this and that. So I, I don't understand most of the words. But Sanuga, I could give you a hint. Think in the Maldivian context. There is a word that is very similar to one word here, but you would 
as you would understand, you have to understand the, the, the geography of the Maldives and the geography of Sri Lanka is very different. So one word is going to have a geographically different meaning, but you can understand it once you try to like go through it. All right, try, 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 guys. Me, Faruge, Uthruga, Onnani, Khande. I, 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 I know that word, uh, there is a direction, uh, right? That uh, Uturu means north. Uh, yeah, it, it means the same in uh, Hindi as well. Yeah. Faru ge is, is it's, uh, there's like mm. Faru mm. and ge. So it's, it's, in, it's a possessive. Ge okay. is used for, for positives. And Faru is a noun, which is also okay. something that's very common to our geography. Okay. And uh, what ah, is the corals, right? Yeah, yeah, he's getting it. He's, he's close, he's close. Sounder is close. Uh, me, Faru, what? these corals. Uh, these, but no. Faru, Faru, here, look, in Sri Lanka, uh, you, you're, you're somewhere close. But these corals, but a collective of corals make up a what? What does it, what does it make up? A reef. So yeah, I'm going to give you the word. Me, Faru, Faru means reef. That's the thing, like with the Maldivian, the, this part is a little, is a little confusing. So uh, I think it's better. It's just uh, is. Oh. I'm going to translate. Mm -hmm. Is is is. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, last one. Fa fare faru fare, but it is coming from the root word faru. Sorry, okay. sorry, Kandu, 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 Kande. It's coming from the root word Kandu. Kandu. Uh. Is it some empty, uh, empty space or something? Yes. Interestingly, like if you think from this, the Sri Lankan context, it, it means mountains, right? Some of the. Ah, it's, we say Kandu. It's Kandu, something. right? Uh, yeah, so that, that that's an empty space between two places like the mountains. So think what would we, we say, be like calling we say, it? Like oh, we okay. say Khandahar. Okay, we say Khandahar. So Khandahar. Yeah. Okay. So what would be thing? like? What, what, what do you think will be like the empty spaces for us between two two islands? Make it easy. Ah, oh, ocean. <laughs> Yeah, the sea. <laughs> okay. It's it's silly, something like. <laughs> yeah. So, it, it it would translate to uh, north of this reef is the ocean. Oh, no. oh, okay. north of this Actually, reef is the sea. Actually, yeah. so no, that making yes. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, the last sentence in Hindi is. Vah budhwar ko apne ghar jayega. I'll repeat again. Vah budhwar ko apne ghar jayega. I, I, I think the last clause is apne is like respectfully saying you. Ghar mm -hmm. is, for us, we call it ge. And singhalese it will be gedar, ghar, ge, like house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. jaya is and like... Budhwar is... Uh... Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. You oh, guessed it. Wow. Mm. Wow. So interesting. Yeah. First, uh, Wednesday is Budu, Buddha. Buddha. Yeah. But it, yeah. it's coming from the, the, the Indo, like the P I E root, right? Yeah. We say Wednesday as Badada. You say Buddha, right? We say Buddha. Mm -hmm. Buddha. Yes, you you guessed it. So I'm going home on Wednesday. Yeah. Are oh, you going home on Wednesday? Yeah, he'll go yeah. home on Wednesday. All right. Okay. So sentence is, "Agaya shunya karana." Agaya shunya karana. Agaya. Agaya shunya. Karana. Karan. Karan. Ka karana is. is yeah, shunya is zero. Uh, is it in the sense of zero, ah. right? Yeah, shunya means zero. 
in this sentence is it in the sense of zero or nothing uh, in this sentence is it in the sense of zero or nothing sense zero what part of speech Ka is karana, karana is a verb it means to do like purum yeah. pure yeah. karana yeah agaya so, shunya karana something something nullifies something or like that agaya with it is it to do with the mouth yeah you close uh, let's do it from the from the beginning or let's do it from the zero or let's do it from the scratch something like that let's yeah the correct translation is uh, set the value to zero okay set the value to ah. zero <laughs> agaya means value and okay means agaya oh okay. agu right. agu we say agu ah oh. agu yeah it's very close right? yeah 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 hmm and okay. the shunya i uh, as i know the hindi in hindi you uh, use that word shunya for zero numerical yeah. zero right? yeah yeah but you don't use for that context because uh, uh, it's just a we, we have another word for numerical zero uh, to it, we call it bindu uh, because bindu mm. right you can yeah. understand it's like yeah. a way drop so we call it bindu and shunya is some kind of word that you can emphasize uh, something like uh, nothingness nothingness something like that yeah. it's just something like baharu mousuma phole male hene <laughs> sorry can you say, say that again please repeat again yeah baharu baharu mousuma phole malen ene uh mousum is to do with season is it mousum where we say and bahar is... i think okay. i think we should let, we should let sanu the guest this one cuz like okay, okay. I, all right all right yeah. all right All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Sanuda. Bahar is rain, right? Bahar is what? Rain. No. Is that rain? No, no. Bahar. You know, it's it's funny because I almost understood the sentence. I think. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> okay, but I am not saying anything. Let's see. Like, if you if you have trouble, with it, then you can let the Vina guess it. So. Yeah. No. Can you? tell it to him again okay devina why don't you help him a little with the first yeah uh, uh, the first word is uh, i think is it to do with spring bahar bahar is spring yeah uh, then the second is mausam mo- you said na mausam mousum which Moussum. is uh, which is mausam yeah. okay and then just uh, say the rest of the part also so bahar mousum so mousum is mm-hmm. the is the word but here mm-hmm. we we adding an, another phoneme so uh, mm-hmm. a lot of a lot, a lot of phonemes in there yeah bahar mm-hmm. mousuma phole mm-hmm. male hene male means uh, flower right male means a flower yeah ma means flower male means okay. a flower correct yeah you guys are you guys are almost there so flowers blossom in uh, spring season yeah very very Not very of, close no um, i like there's just, something just, missing there's something missing so, so yeah. flowers blossom in spring will be uh baharu musumuga mata phole ye yeah? yeah but in this and is baharu musumuga was... and my sentence is baharu musumuga phole male hene now mata is flowers here i'm saying okay. baharu musumuga phole male hene so it's like 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 a flower that blossoms in the spring mm. okay <laughs> it's confusing <laughs> mm. it's it sounded like like an expression to me at first when you said it because yeah. like bahar is a persian word uh mousam is arabic right 
Okay. So it's like a combination of, and then the flower. So I, I, I thought it was more like, uh, kind of like a phrase that you would say to someone. It's like, you are like a flower that bloss blossomed in the spring, yeah. you know, but. <laughs> and I, I wanted to like uh, show the various like influences that Divehi has, you know, like the Persian and the Arabic and the, the Indic. So all of it mixed together is like what we have in the Maldives. But we call ourselves Divehi and uh, the Maldives, we call it Divehi Raja. It's really interesting because like when I'm traveling like in different parts of the world and when I meet people and I, when I tell them that I'm from the Maldives, they're so surprised because they, they don't even know that people live here. But we've been having our own culture and like we had our own civilization because we had our own way of life and stuff in the past, you know. But now we just like globalized people of the world. But it's interesting to me that not, not a lot of people know, know much about our people, our language, our history. But your yeah. language is that, quite close what... to Sinhalese, right? Your language yeah, it, it, is quite we're, we're cousins, Sinhalese. we're cousins. It's, yeah, it's very close. Yeah. It's like Spanish and Portuguese. Yeah. yeah, And that's why it was very important for me uh, to, to do this video, because I think for a lot of people, since the video is watched all over the world, and I know people, I know many people who, who were tourists that went to the Maldives, and they still don't know. They don't know anything about the what country. The they just know the nice right. resorts, and, you know, that we go there to, to relax and have our honeymoon, and, and that's it. You know, they don't know anything about the culture. They don't know anything about the people. Uh, uh, the, the citizens of the country and their history. So I think this is very important and I hope that uh, more people become aware of it and start looking into it, especially if you're going on vacation to the Maldives. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting because we are in a very interesting place in terms of culture. Like what my grandparents and their generation saw was like the last of the Maldivian culture and what I'm seeing is like the, the postmodern or the the Maldivian culture. So it's it's vastly different, but we still try to hold on to aspects of our culture. And yeah. it's interesting, you know. So if anybody's coming to the Maldives, just hit me up on Instagram. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll send a link to my to my Instagram below, maybe. Because I also work part-time as a tour guide. But I also do it as a passion. I don't even charge money most of the time because I just want people to see our culture and you know have a good time because i like to do it around the world as well you know that's amazing that's awesome that's awesome thank you Janish. so uh, and also again once again i do want to mention for people to check out the instagram page for the humans of maldives and uh, there'll be the link in the description so uh, it's very interesting learn more about the people of uh, the maldives and uh, their culture and history and also the language as well so again, I just want to say thank you guys. Again, this was super interesting, a very, very nice way to connect the three different countries and, and cultures that are connected to each other. But sometimes a lot of people forget about that and don't realize how much there is in common. So thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting yeah. us. It yeah, was wonderful. Pleasure. I was so glad about um, uh, um, uh, to participate with this, and I I am also I I so much love linguistics, so I'm not, I don't have very much uh, knowledge about linguistics, but I love to know about different languages. So when that's how I know about your channel. Also, <laughs> I, I I annoyed him to do this. Sorry about that. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. And, and, and you, did, you did such a great job. So thank you. Thank you, all of you. You all did an amazing job. So this was really great. Yeah. Thank you so much for inviting us. It was a pleasure meeting you all. And I really got to know about Sinhalis and Devahi because uh, I never knew much about it before. And uh, mm -hmm. it was wonderful interacting with you, uh, three of you. And I'm glad that Sandra has a lot of interest in linguistics. So if ever you want to know anything in linguistics, you can contact me. Okay, so yeah. I'm very happy to be a part of this show. Thank you so much and all the best wishes for the future. Thank you, my pleasure. Thanks for being a part of it. Thank you so much for everybody who listened or watched the video. Uh, I, just wanna, I just wanna say something really short about our language, you know, like, um, 
Moldavian language Divya used to be so rich back like 200 years ago, we had this form of poetry where all the, all the consonants and the syllables like in a sentence was mixed up and you could not like, you couldn't understand what it is, but people used to use that form of poetry as a mean of communication. And right now we are at the stage where the new generation of Moldavians, we are very detached from our language. So it's also sad and tragic at, because the, the foreseeable future looks kind of bleak for our language. So if anybody's interested, you know, out there in the world, do look into our language because this would be the very last times that people could be using. But it, I mean, hopefully it can be revived, but so, you know. What do the uh, children speak? Uh, do they speak Dewehi or some other, some mixed form of Dewehi or do they mix it with some other language? I mean, generally people speak English, the younger, the younger generation, like not all of them, but a, a lot of them speak English more fluently and they, we think in English as well. So it's, it has its benefits as well. But, you know, as, as, a, as someone who is into linguistics and culture, it is kind of, you know, it is this time. I, it's I, a vulnerable but, state. The language it is in a very vulnerable world. state, yeah. Yeah. So I hope and that and people hope are taking that. steps to preserve the language in some form or the other. Let's hope for that. Let's hope. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Devina. Uh, absolutely. No, and, and what you're doing and, and projects like this, I hope these all uh, inspire other people as well to... Yes, I'm also the... working in the area of language preservation. So we are also making mm -hmm. databases where we, you know, preserve language. We collect data and we are annotating data and we are... Uh, you know, keeping them in documented form so that the future generation can use that. That's that's. I mean, though, that's great. Well, yeah, yeah. Though I mean, though I say it, like a lot of people, we use the way and Divi is the official language at the moment. But then you know what I'm what I'm referring to, like the the new generation of Maldivians. So, it it can we, we I mean they, we could see that the language is not we're not using it to the to the extent that our, our ancestors did. English is in a, such a strong position that it is everywhere spoken. So it's a universal thing that the young generation has is using a lot of English as uh, compared to the other native forms, which they should. But we should speak our native tongues also. We should speak our mother tongues also so yeah. that languages can sustain and exist. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting us know the current situation. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah. And, and it's important to, it's definitely important to mention that in, in a video like this for others who are becoming familiar with the language to know about the, the state that it's in. So um, yeah, thanks a lot for sharing that. Yeah. You're welcome. Once again, thank you so much, uh, everyone. Uh, I personally really enjoyed this a lot. And uh, I hope that for people who are watching it, uh, they enjoyed as well. And uh, it was it was it's quite educational. Thank you so much. We hope Thank you once again. From you, right? yeah. yeah. Thanks to you also. Thank you. No, thank please. you so much, Bado. Honestly, it's my pleasure. Again, thanks a lot. Uh, you guys have a great evening, and uh, we'll be in touch. All yeah, right. sure. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.